Okay, so, big news from Sony today. Apparently, in between the gap of 2016, which is the Sinister Six movie, and 2018, which is the next Amazing Spider-Man film, Sony has announced they're doing a film in between that timeline, set in 2017, with a female-led Spider-Man film, but with a, obviously, like I said, a female lead. Why did I, eh, tongue-tied. But yes, we are getting a Spider-Man, another s film from Sony set in the Spider-Man universe, but with a female lead. We can probably guess who that is. This this woman right here, Felicia Hardy, aka Black Cat. We can we can probably guess that. But uh, now a lot of people said, oh, it's a Spider-Woman film. Oh, it could be you know such and such film. But let's face it, it's probably going to be a Black Cat film. But on the grounds it isn't, there are two other choices you could do in the Spider-Man universe that could work. Now they haven't said that it won't it won't have a male lead in it as well, so it probably isn't Cloak and Dagger as well, which must, as much as I'd like that. Plus, I think Marvel still owns Cloak and Dagger, so it only leaves comes down to th really three choices for this movie. One, of course, being Felicia Hardy, Black Cat. The other being Silver Sable, which would be a cool expendable. I imagine it would be a cool Expendables type film or like a cool heist spy movie. And the last one, and this is the least likely one, is the one I wanted the most. A a Spider-Girl movie with Mayday Parker, which I think it would be cool as, like, maybe Sony could have done it as, like, a cool standalone film and not have it, like, part of the Spider-Man continuity universe, but that's what they're trying to do, trying to do a Spider-Man universe. So, unfortunately, we probably won't get a Spider-Girl film, and I know people are saying, oh, it might be Spider-Woman. Spider-Woman's still under Marvel, so Jessica Drew is still under Spider-Woman, is still under Marvel. So let's let's get on into it. So pretty much, they haven't said which female character is, but like I said earlier, we all know that it's probably going to be Black Cat. And one thing I'm hoping for, please make it better than DC's cat-themed superheroine movie. Please. That's, that's the first and foremost I ask of you. Now, it is cool to see a female superhero back on the scene. I mean, the last few times, Elektra and, you know, Barbed Wire and Catwoman have all been really bad. But I think with the right director and whatnot, you could make this a cool heist movie. You could make this a cool, uh, a cool kind of like shoot, not really shoot 'em up, but what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Ocean's Eleven type movie with just focusing on Felicia Hardy on getting this big score. Now the big thing is, uh, what are they, what can you exactly do with Catwoman, uh, and are you what kind of origin are you going to give her? because her origin is pretty simple enough. She, her father was the Black Fox, a renowned cat burglar, who, who uh, pretty much trained Felicia in all, her, in all of her deeds, for the most part. And yeah, she's a, she's a stable member of, Spider, of the Spider family, I guess you could say. And yeah, I know she's kind of like the Catwoman knockoff, but she makes herself a little more like a Robin Hood-type character. She's more uh, about, you know, being a you know, get, fighting for the little guy some, sometimes, more than fighting for herself. So I think so. a Black Cat movie is a good possibility. I think there's a lot of room you can do with Catwoman and still set it in this Spider-Man universe. It's also interesting to see, Mar uh, you know, Sony trying to follow up with Mar what, um, what, the, uh, what Marvel's movies are trying to do. You know, at least to get a movie out every year and establish and make this universe grow. Now, Sony obviously is kind of it did get a lot of money for Amazing Spider-Man 2, but it wasn't the numbers they wanted. So that probably explains why they're trying to get out all these other. So that's why we they just stopped talking after Amazing Spider-Man 3. I mean, 2, excuse me, and why they've been kind of been kept very silent about it. But now they're starting to talk again. So still waiting on that Venom movie. Uh, depending on which Venom you use, but I'm okay with this. I'm all for an, a female superhero movie. Depending on... Here's the thing. Catwoman, like I said, isn't really a hero. She's more of an anti-hero. So that'll be interesting to see that being played with. The actress in I mean, that was playing Felicia, pretty much, didn't really do a lot, really. She was like... the it Just exposition, exposition, exposition for the moment she had with Harry Osborn. Not to say that person was a bad actress. She didn't get a lot to do. Granted, a lot of people didn't get, get a lot to do in that movie. So... With that being said, I'm very optimistic. The actress could eat for all, the actress didn't get a lot to do, so I couldn't really judge her as Felicia Hardy. So it'd be kind of difficult. And who knows? Maybe they'll say like, "Oh, she got superhuman agility and whatnot from an experiment from Oscorp." Who knows?
uh, really. Who who knows? Um, but yeah, I think it would be just kind of cool if she didn't get the superhuman agility stuff and all that from Oscorp. But then again, you know, Oscorp makes everything, kind of like how they did in Spectacular Spider-Man. But I think it'd be cool if, like, she's been working on this heist uh, for against Norman Osborn for years. That's why she was working for Norman, just to get close enough to steal from him. So that would be interesting. But all in all, again, I didn't get I didn't get a good beat on the actress because she didn't get to do a lot. I couldn't come back in the, when I did my review and be like, oh yeah, Felicia, she the actress who played Felicia, she was really good. Um, and yeah, for all we know, they might recast her. That's another thing because this movie comes out in 2017. That's a few years away, people. But all in all, I am, uh, needless to say, I am optimistic about this film. It could, and for all we know, it could they could easily pull the rug out from under us and be like, oh, it's a Silver Sable movie, or oh, it's a Mary Jane movie for all we know. But let's face it, it's more than likely going to be a black cat film. Anyway, guys, um, what do you, you guys tell me, what do you guys think of this movie being announced? And what what have you would have picked? What female character would you have picked for a film outside of, you know, Felicia Hardy in the Spider Man universe? What character would you have chosen? Like I said, I was kinda hope I was I'm kind it kinda hurts that it's not a Spider Girl movie, but yeah, there's no way they would do a standalone film because normal general audience would be confused and all that. So, yeah. Anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm out.